Hey, welcome back. Let's continue our journey as we terraform this new planet. The butterfly dome. That's what we need. And what we do not have the space to build. Perhaps. Hmm. And this needs to be fixed right away. Let's first see what kind of materials it requires. It requires nothing too special. Tier 2 fertilizer. Tier 1 fertilizer. Tree bark. Zeolite, super alloy, super alloy. Now if we place it here, it's gonna intersect. Yeah. Hmm. Place it here. It barely fits, but I guess we'll do it like that at this point. This becomes useless now. We can, however, mm, I was thinking about harvesting titanium nearby, but apparently there's not much of that. have stuff properly aligned. here 
just for the aesthetics. What can we place inside this biodome? We do not yet have butterflies, but we can create them. So this one, uh, we can place two butterflies inside. So we need a rare larva, mutagen. What about the mutagen? Methane, sulfur, bacteria. Let's go for the sulfur. We completely used up all the sulfur. Alright, now that we're back. Let's not here. Let's drop off this sulfur and I completely forgot what were we doing. So the teleporter. That's also useful. We can place teleporter at our base and then we can place one at each of our mining sites so that we can access those those ores quickly. Now, what about... Yeah, we needed mutagen. Let's create, I don't know, five of these. And we used up all the algae. You see? That's why you need... Automated drones. Maybe we gotten the recipe, but I missed something. No, we haven't. All right. Let's see how many bacteria can we create out of this. Well, we actually can do quite a few. Alright. What about... So we'll need some mutagen, we'll need some fertilizer, we have that. And for who knows what reason, yeah, we need some rare larva, larvae. We'll search the area around for some larvae. We can also create some bees. Mm, no, what about that mutagen? To create a mutagen, we need some methane and we need some sulfur. All right, now what about the larvae? We found some. They can usually be found anywhere on the ground. And I'm not sure if we'll find any more of those. Obviously, we can, but perhaps it was a glitch. And I'm now wasting my time. Maybe 
that's a triggered event just to notify us that there is actually that the insect stage is actually completed and other than those two larvae we haven't found any more i also forgot to place the renanite to this sword crusher to search for the larvae underground I guess but we can harvest some more gases from here and we can harvest some water we spent so much And the algae is not ready, apparently. But the tree bark could be ready. All right, now. Can we build something? Let's see these tree spreaders. We can. Let's see. Tier 2, we do have just enough. Zeolite 10, we do not have bacteria. Unless we actually harvest this algae, which should be ready anytime soon. Yeah. Come on. Just in time. Now let's see. These bacteria really use up a lot of water. No. Zeolite tree bark super alley. I think we already have. Oh, no, we do not have zeolite. Now these tier 2 do not need to be placed on water, they actually can't be placed on water. Well, let's grow our forest, I don't know, here. I wanna take the advantage of this amplifier. Something like this, perhaps. So those should be built as further away from the base as possible, because they tend to grow 
so much away from these um, spreaders and they can clog the area around your base quite quickly. So we'll do, I don't know, one here and perhaps one here for now. And let's place this one, I don't know, in the middle. And let's see the, the trees for now. Alright, it grabs that one. Let's see if it reaches that one. Yes, it does. And it should definitely reach this one. Alright. So we've improved that. Tree bark fertilizer. No, oh, we got back the bacteria. Alright, now. The teleporter requires obsidian, and that's the thing that was quite rare to find. We found it at the volcano, and not much elsewhere. <clears throat> now we have the uncommon larva and larvae and common larvae. The only thing that we can create now are the bees. We'll use the uncommon larvae. And the mutagen and the fertilizer. And once it's done, we'll have our bees, so the super alloy, fertilizer, bioplastic. We'll place our bee farm, well, I don't know, here. But for that we need bees. Let's harvest some more. Let's compress this. I think our bees are ready. Yeah. Look at them. Now. Makes sense. There's flowers here. Why there shouldn't be bees? Now this thing produces honey. Which can then be used to create advanced food, and even for the export. And we might as well create space trade rocket. Since we have everything. Except for the super alloy. Now we'll be getting some tree seeds available. So the uranium rod, super alloy rod.
and three circuit boards. There may be some interesting um, blueprints that can be obtained. We now need another nuclear reactor. So I'll drop this because we won't be getting any more super alloy until this thing completes its job and we need the super alloy for the fusion reactor. Two more at least. There's one. Alright, let's think about what we're gonna do next. Might as well clean this up. Um... Come on. There's one more. Well, I got ahead of myself with this titanium and the iron and I do not have any more space to place it alright that's for super alloy but then oh, we do not need it alright now let's see one two three four five that shall be enough power the moment we get the power production fuse we'll be settled for, settled for the rest of the game like that and perhaps some more iron. cooking station yeah we do not have terra tokens available we'll need to export something but in order to export something uh, so the uranium rocket engines maybe some cookies iridium rods all of these are too valuable to us at this point to export them. Right, now I wanted to address something. The sooner we do this, the better. This space is, is simply not enough for I have a f in plan. <clears throat> for our lab so 
I might as well expand it now. Now, we're gonna do that in a very specific way. There won't be any hallway in between here. Instead, we're gonna extend another big living compartment this way. That is, if we can find Super Alloy, which we do not have at this point, but we can always make it. Now, let's see. No, oh, the tier 3 tree spreader. That's advancing quickly. We replaced the tier 1s with tier 2 not so long ago. Now, we can expand this. And from this side. Alright, now we can create... Hmm... Doors here first. Alright. Now more glass. Like this. And like this. Now... I wanna close up this corridor from this side, which we need more iron for. Maybe some more titanium, and maybe we'll need more cobalt. All right, now we won't be using any doors here, but here we're gonna place two of those. And now we have a big spacious lab, we can build all kinds of stuff here, and even on the top floor. It's a bit weird, because it's hanging above the lake, but that's all we can do for now. And now, I want it to move this butterfly dome here. Like this. And let's now make some support. See how this is gonna look. Not too bad. Like 
that. Now we can remove this. Alright, now... Some more iron, I guess. We have that here, I think. Not too much, though. But there's some here. And some there. see how this is gonna behave perhaps if it will extend underwater it will make some sense but the weird thing is it cuts right at the water level which is even convenient we would didn't need to extend it below to make it aesthetically pleasing but hey we would know that it doesn't extend below the water level. And now we do not need to worry about that. Alright, I guess this needs some glass. And there too. And the reason <clears throat> I've done this was so that I can create more of these um, biodomes. We'll need more bark and we'll need more butterfly domes to make things effective. At least one more of each all right we're gonna take a break here if you like this episode hit that like button down below subscribe and i'll see you next time